you had a crystal ball and you could look down down the, at the towards the end of the season, where do you see yourself? If I had a crystal ball, I mean, it's not you guys got. You guys got the crystal balls, no? <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, no, I, you know, as uh, you know, you look around the room. We go through camp. Um, and there's been a lot of growth. There's been a lot of change, obviously, within the systems, within uh, some personnel. Uh, but there's been a lot of growth within the group, a lot of excitement within the group. And uh, you know, we know what we're capable of, and that, uh, that starts with our work ethic, and that starts uh, here tonight. Darnell, one, of the, one of the biggest changes in the team is there's no teenagers on this roster for the first time in 11 years. There's actually nobody, Ethan Bear and Connor, the youngest at, at 22. You came in as a young guy. Just that experience of knowing how to play in the game, and a lot of the guys you brought in are 26, 28, you know, 30 years of age. How much of a difference do you think that aspect can make? Yeah, that's big because you know uh, the guys that come in, they've they've been through the ups and downs. They've been through uh, you know they're seeing a bunch of different uh, dress rooms, a bunch of different cultures. So that brings a little that added experience. Uh, definitely adds to our group, um, especially when you have an older group. You know, you don't have those uh, those roller coaster moments so much throughout the season because you've kind of been through it all. You've played through uh, adversity, you played through the highs. So that definitely comes into effect. Um, you know, with us here, the the main thing is, is coming together, working a, as a group, and um, you know, setting that setting the tone for the whole season tonight. The comfort level of getting used to Mike's ability to handle the puck, and I've seen you guys work and practice a lot on where to go in situations. How much of an advantage do you think that's going to be, and it, does it take a lot of extra thinking to get used to having a goalie that active? Uh, it doesn't take. I wouldn't say it takes a lot of thinking. Um, you know, you have to get on the same, the same uh, wavelength, though. That's that's uh, that's the one thing. But it makes, I think, I, anyone who's probably played with Mike uh, or played with one of those really good. Um, puck handling goalies, it, it makes a huge difference and you know as, as a team it helps you break out a lot better. Uh, it's kind of like having the third defenseman back there um, and we need to use it to our advantage and uh, by, by saying that we got to be in the right spots for him because we know he can make uh, make those plays. And for you personally, last year you, you wanted a big onus on being better offensively and, and obviously you were. What are the things that you worked on specific this summer that you want to continue to grow and improve in your game? I don't know if I worked on anything too specific this summer. I uh, continue, to, continue to watch a lot of film, um, study the game. and uh, you know, as, as the summers go on, it's kind of funny you get back to working on the basic things within, within hockey, whether it's you know, stick handling, uh, um, you know, good, good stick positioning, things like that. There, there was nothing really... There was nothing really I worked on, I would say specifically, but just trying to define the whole 200-foot game because it's going to be uh, a challenge each and every night going out there and playing against some of the best. Darnell, it's one game of 82, but it's also number one of 82. In your words, what's so special about opening night? Yeah, uh, opening night is like, like Christmas morning for us. Um, you, know, you wake up with a, with a big smile on your face, and uh, but, but game one is, is also uh, an opportunity to set the tone for the whole season, and that's, uh, that's the approach we have coming into tonight.